right, uh, greetings family. Um, uh, uh, family, let me get everybody's attention. And I just want to do a quick uh, introduction real quick, uh, talk about our tour book. And hopefully everybody got a chance to either look at the, uh, the printed version or the digital version I sent out a week ago. So this book is uh, designed to just give you full clarity of our introduction with our staff and our crew and also give you highlights of all of the major parts of Senegal and the Gamry that we're going to. And the, the main thing the book showcase is the full tour overview. I mean uh, itinerary and the tour overview. That way everyone can just be clear about uh, what's included and what's not included and also all of the sites that we're going to be going to. Now, so the day-to-day -day itinerary, it has us here in Senegal for four days. So the first day, uh, we land here, then we're going to check into the hotel, then we're going to head up to the African Renaissance Monument uh, right after we uh, have our lunch. And then uh, we're going to get back to the hotel, relax, and then we're going to have dinner and uh, nightlife. So that's uh, our first day, uh, literally hitting the ground running. Uh, but for those who are tired and need to relax or rest, uh, you know, you can right after dinner you can just rest and relax and be ready for the next day, the next morning. Now tomorrow, which will be uh, day three, uh, April first, we're going to be uh, going to uh, Gori Island. Uh, so what we have is the uh, Africa for Africans T-shirt, which we'll give everyone along with a bag. And uh, we're gonna come in full solidarity and full energy with our African Falcons t-shirt and uh, full tour on Gori Island. Uh, so we leave out early, uh, usually try to get everybody to just get, get ready by 8.30 uh, and then we just push out once we're ready. And it's a full tour. We're gonna drive to the other side of uh, the Dakar Peninsula and then we're gonna head over to uh, Gori Island. Uh, so that's gonna be a, a ferry boat ride. And we're going to spend time the whole day, including having lunch there on Gori Island. So it's a nice uh, presentation. The third day, I'll go ahead. I'll repeat that. What about three? Chris, three. Oh, yes, tomorrow. And so uh, that'll be day number two. Uh, day number three. We have the, uh, we have, uh, that'll be uh, Sunday, so we're going to be going to Pink Lake. Uh, so that's a nice presentation, and uh, it's a nice little 4x4 four four, uh, on the sand dune, so that's always fun, always uh, interested. Um, yep. And just hold on, uh, because it's, you know, it's a 4x4 four four okay. trekking. Uh, the fourth day uh, in uh, Dakar, um, what we have is a full city tour. And uh, so we're just going to go into... And, the main part of the full city tour, since we took away the African Renaissance Monument and made it today, then now we get a, more time to, to spend in the African uh, Civilization Museum or the Black Civilization Museum. Uh, remember that right there? That was, that, that was, we could have spent the whole day there. It was just that yeah. big. It's very impressive. Yeah. It, and the only thing I was a surprise with, I was surprised that there's no cars in the parking lot. But I'm always telling people that we have to, if, if we're traveling to a country, uh, make sure we hit up all of the museum all of the circle places and pay the entrance fee. That way the government keep them open. Uh, and I tell people when things are closed, we have to blame ourselves because we're not participating. But I, so I just do that on a standard itinerary, no matter what country we go to, we just look at all of the historical, the cultural, the roots place, and we put on the itinerary and made it, make it work. So that's what you have in four days in Senegal. I wish we had some more time in Senegal so we can hang out at Angor Beach. We can do some other tropical stuff. Now the last day, uh, we're going to be back in Senegal and that's only to overnight so we can get up early to get on a flight. But the next four days before that, we're going to be in the Gambia. And the Gambia is nice and simple. Uh, once we get to the Gambia, that's the first day and we're going to be staying at this incredible beach resort. Uh, so that's the better of the uh, hotel. It's literally a beach resort, uh, multiple restaurants, pools, uh, and it's right there on the beach. It's called Senegal, Senegambia uh, Beach Hotel or Beach Resort. Uh, the two tour days that we have, uh, one is a city tour and one is a uh, one is a, a boat ride drive to Jufuri and also Punta Kente Island. So uh, along with Gori Island, you have Punta Kente Island. So when you talk about roots tour, we're connecting you with uh, the history of our stolen African ancestors. And uh, 
And I'm always telling individuals, especially individuals out there that say that we should move on from slavery, say uh, good luck, people like myself, we're not moving on to it. I want to be just like those white European Jews who literally use their Africa, their Holocaust to make them the most dominant people on the planet. Um, regardless of how we feel about what happened or what didn't happen, or how they market themselves. Uh, so that's uh, our goal. Uh, and then also it's an energy that connects us with our brothers and sisters uh, in a specific country. Yeah, so, uh, we're doing these things to just uh, give you a nice connection and uh, this is the new set of um, modified books that we're doing. They're stapled, that way they can, they can last longer. Before we had them glued to where it was like a regular book but then it comes unbinded. So this should last a long time. Uh, make sure you secure this book because trust me, your friends, your neighbors, your mother, your cousins, once they see the book, they're going to snatch it up and, and say, oh, let me get this book and things like that. But tell them they must come on a journey of a lifetime in order to get one. <laughs> and this was the cover of the last book, but uh, this book is, uh, this, uh, decided us to put it on there again. This is literally what we're going to be seeing. And I know when you see this, that's how small the people look. But once you also go up to the, there's an elevator inside, you're going to go up to the top of the statue. And that's, uh, that's 15 floors up from the base. So you're up there, you can see all of the car. So we're going to be doing this in the afternoon. So hopefully you don't want to scare the heights. Well, you're going to be inside of the head, so you can't fall out anywhere. But when you start looking out the window, it's, it, uh, it's like, wow. So yeah, so this is our, our, this is our, you know, our incredible presentation. So family, this is, um, I first came to Africa in uh, March of 2004. So it's uh, 19 years to this date. I got here March 18th, uh, 2004. My first trip, I was working with my um, a group of friends of mine. One was from Sierra Leone, one was from Ethiopia, and one was and two was from America. And they were talking about going to Senegal, and somehow they invited me in. I have no idea how that worked out, but that was a, that was that was a good connection. And I was I paid for a trip to go to Egypt in April 2004. So I was like, you know, well, I can get the time off, and I'll just go and check it out in Senegal. And then that's how I learned about uh, Glory Island and learned about slavery. And since then, I've been on it. Um, I just really feel like it's, it's you know, how can you know, someone like myself be that you know, in my early 20s and don't know nothing about what happened to our ancestors. So it moved me and empowered me and uh, that's the journey you're going to experience tomorrow. Uh, so yes, it's 19 years of um, traveling to Africa non-stop. The only year that I wasn't physically in Africa was 2010, uh, my son's birth. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I've always had groups uh, from 2005 and then we started our business in 2006. And uh, you know, from, you know, with the foundation of Ghana, but I'm reconnecting uh, to where this is our second Senegal on the Gambia journey. And doing that as a way to this Give, uh, give us two good countries to where we can just enjoy, you know, two countries and just you know, make our way around. And both countries is connected because of the Wolof, uh, you know, Wolof uh, is an ethnic group or Wolof uh, na na nation. Wolof, uh, you know, Wolof people. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so even in the book, we have a wall of translation, which I try to do. Um, and it's, uh, and I'm doing, and uh, Uzman got to let me know if some of the stuff is, is good or not. But on page 22, you have the wall of translation. So you can use that here in Senegal and there in the Gambia also. Yeah. And so I got a, a few uh, unique things in there. Do's and don'ts, and uh, this is what I'm looking forward to because we're gonna have the most time there to relax and kick back at Senegal, Senegal Gambia Beach uh, Hotel. And the good thing about it is right there in the Senegal Gambia area. So every day we just uh, in the evening we just go out and enjoy fine dining. So that's what we're gonna be doing most on this journey. And dinner is included, family. But when we go to dinner, if anybody asks, if anybody. Um, Make it seem like they don't know that dinner is included. You can pay, and I'll just use that money to give to somebody else. Ah. But dinner is included. Uh, so you pick the menu up, you order your dinner. If it goes way over budget, then you just pay the difference. Other than that, you're good. Uh, just want everyone to just get a different variety of flavors, and that's why we stayed in the Al Madi's area because it's right there by the ocean, yep. and it's right there by you know. So, you know the things that we like to do as a people: fine dining, especially seafood. 
and this uh, see beautiful homes and this uh, beautiful neighborhood. And that's the showcase of what I always want to do in Africa. That's show people the, the beauty that we don't really see because everybody's focusing so much on negative energy. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just like I was telling people, you know, when I type in Liberia, all I see is you know, Civil War, Charles Taylor, stuff like that. But I tell people, once I get to Liberia in March, you know, the search engine is going to be optimized. Yeah. We're going to a little bit change it to you know, uh, and put more impactful things in uh, the search engine. So it's, you know, it's all about just us connecting together, sharing our experience and connecting us. So hopefully everybody love and uh, enjoy this book. It's uh, literally celebrating 17 years of Africa tourism investment. And I uh, look to keep it going for generations because I believe that we do just like, you know, like the, the old white man, the Marriott, you know? You know, I'm not saying that these people yeah, are my heroes or nothing, but I look at what they do. It's like I have people telling me I need to go back to Jamaica or stay in America and, and negative stuff like that. And I'm like, well, do you tell you know the white business people of the world to not go across six continents and build hotels and build metropolis and and, 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 and enterprises? You know, and just like you tell us to move on from slavery, but then you don't tell you know you don't tell the the, the white European Jews to move on from their Holocaust. So I tell people that you know we have to be careful of these people who call themselves our people because they're not really our people because they're not really down with us and you know we're gonna keep it strong keep it going and our goal like you see Senegal is coming up our goal is to build a future empire for our children uh, and, and compete because when you're thinking about them Asian children they ain't playing around from birth they just they got them in school since birth you know literally just educating them getting them ready for world domination you know we live in a competitive world and so this is part of us competing us reaching out to other black people in different parts of the world so we can connect do business, network together, and build ultimately a global black business pipeline. Uh, so that's what we're doing, family. So let me know if anybody have any questions. Appreciate it. Let me know if anybody have any questions about the tour book or what we're doing today. Go ahead. Um, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. Is it my imagination or what? It seems like the infrastructure here is a lot better than what I saw in Ghana. Uh, they're building new cities, uh, but Ghana, as soon as you leave out airport, you'll see things you won't see in certain parts of Africa. Uh, what I like about uh, Senegal is they're building, they're building more cities outside. Okay. Uh, Ghana is not necessarily doing that. They're, they're making Accra and Kumasi look very 21st century modern, better infrastructure. So that's what I would say the difference is. He's a Ghana. Okay. <laughs> so <now we're> <laughs> you know, my dog stuff. But I have to, I have to literally make my way around again uh, and see how you know different parts of Senegal. Let's like when we go to Almadis, I want to see how it look and everything. It's, well, like, it. it's which day, um, or is there a day where we can go? We will be going to like a market to buy yeah. crafts or uh, when we do pick leg, that's a good option, right? Yes, that's a good option too. Yeah, we'll have a few different options. Trust me, if you want to spend that money, we're going to make sure you get some places to spend it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Without any, any more questions, uh, we're in the, the city of uh, Dakar. Uh, we're in Dakar right now, right? Uh, yeah. Good. And, you know, they, they have a lot of building process, so you yeah. need to turn around. The city, city the area. Go to the city. So, fam, anybody have any questions? Are everybody just ready to check in and ready to get some uh, lunch and then ready to hit the tour? Can you, um, can you go over some of the pronunciations of the point of the morning or hello? Okay, perfect. Uh, what I can do, I'm, I'm set, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll set another uh, yeah. presentation to where we can just do that more detail. But what I would like to do is, Make sure we have a microphone that way everybody can hear all together. So we can definitely uh, work on that. Yeah, it's really just... hard to hear back here in the, in the back. Sir. Oh yeah, especially since the vehicle is uh, moving. So yes, family, the journey continues.